The Lenovo Legion Go just recently got an update for Legion Space, which basically enhanced Legion Space to be much more friendlier, approachable, and honestly better with a couple new features. But I am going to lay out everything that you can do in Legion Space just to sort of give you that sort of list of things that we have already and don't have. And if you haven't updated your Lenovo Legion Go, you're going to go ahead and open up Legion Space and it's going to prompt you to automatically update with the most recent update. And trust me, you're going to love it because it's a lot of UI stuff and it actually matches with the Legion Go itself. As soon as you start it up, you're going to see that really smooth design. It has like a purple little lighting that goes right under when you select an item or select a menu. I mean, you're going to see a whole redesign to store library settings, basically almost every menu library is going to obviously give you your list of games but it is going to look a little more approachable and you do get that discount from being a vip legion go user which the prices are not that bad i mean you see dead cell for 11 dollars, dead island for 27 and then spider-man remastered probably one of my most favorite games at the moment only about 34 dollars. pretty decent prices if you ask me moving on to settings you're gonna get your five tabs performance display audio disc drives and general you also get a look at your fan gpu cpu with very nice monitors and animations performance is going to give you the power settings with four different options performance performance is going to give you about 25 watts of power so your device runs smoothly and powerful power saving it's going to save as much power but also giving you enough to sort of play your games but customization is basically for you to design yourself and how much power you want to use in the device but keep in mind the more power you're using you're going to end up using more battery also keep in mind all four settings are always going to be adjustable next we're going to get display display we get brightness resolution options from 1280 to 800 1920 to 1200 and then 2560 to 1600 you're also going to get your refresh rate settings from 60 to 144 hertz i'm always playing at 144 hertz because i think it makes it look so nice and that's what the display is for to run more smoothly but if you're trying to save power of course you're going to knock that down you're also going to get rsr which allows you to upscale games from 1080 to 4k without losing any frames or power moving on next to audio get your volume levels output device microphone levels and input device all of those options are all put into one place which is absolutely amazing so you can switch between mics switch between speakers and things like that and also control your volume and your microphone as for disk and drives this is going to show you your ssds or your current storage on the device whether you have an sd card ssd internal ssd it's going to tell you what you have left it's also going to give you your update you're going to be able to update your bios from here as well as windows updates in general you're going to get your language 24 hour clock options boot into legion space led switch for the power button optimized battery charging which will allow you to charge your battery up to 80 percent to prevent it from aging you get to choose your download path from screenshot shortcuts to screenshot folders screenshot notification switch so it tells you if you take a screenshot it's also going to show your current version of the device on to controllers you get a look at the controllers with its shortcuts as well as the mode it's on with battery percentages as well with the menus here you get button mapping this allows you to remap your buttons the remap options give you a wide selection of remapping tools from controller mouse keyboard number pads and key combination that's about it but it's very useful trust me when you're playing games that are not controller supported this makes it controller supported and you get to customize it to your enjoyment joystick light it gives you a wide range of colors and change your controller thumbsticks lights colors also brightness you get to change your thumbstick brightness thumbstick colors and it's just the ring around it triggers lets you change your trigger sensitivity is not a trigger stopper it's more of just the sensitivity of the trigger and then we got more and then more is just going to give you access to sensitivity controller mode input testing controller hibernation button layout controller battery and a controller update and version but other than that the main big update in this is the UI. The UI was very not pretty in the very beginning. I love my Legion Go, but they did such an amazing job to sort of bring this, give it sort of a meaning to Legion Go, and it's more smoothly nice colors also change the little short menu to change your tdp while gaming but i did want to come on here and just show you guys that and i think lenovo did a great job on redesigning the ui because like i said it completely matches with the legion go and they couldn't have done it better but it is super hot guys stay hydrated um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video